You have to understand the God that we serve. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go to Isaiah 44. Glory to God. We honor the Lord on today. For our visitors. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The woman of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woman of God. Is there anything you need to say? Glory to God. We give it over to you at this time. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Will your husband have words? Will he like to have words? He's good. You're sure? Okay. Amen. And we receive the word of the Lord from the woman of God. She spoke truth in this house on this morning. How many know she spoke truth in this house on this morning? Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sending your word. Thank you for sending a witness, oh God, hallelujah, to confirm your word. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, God, and I hear the Lord said, I'm going to give you double. 
He said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. I just heard him say it. He's going to give you double for your trouble. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A matter of fact, glory to God, when I was praying and saying, Lord, what is the word of the Lord for your people today? Glory to God. And I heard him say, R-E, re. I said, okay, God, that's a uh, prefix, right? That's a prefix, fix, and it's a, a verb. So I said, okay, okay, we're going to do re today. How about that? We're going to do a returning. We're going to do a repentance. We're going to do a restoration and a redemption. He's going to renew somebody. He's going to restore somebody. He's going to resurrect somebody. He's going to reconcile somebody. And he's going to regenerate somebody. Come on, somebody. Good God. Hallelujah. So we're going to start with Isaiah 44 and 22. Glory to God. And I want you to know that uh, I don't think any prefix in the English Bible could be more beautiful than re. Two little letters that simply mean again. <laughs> God appears to have a particular affinity for reverbs. For instance, return to me, for I have redeemed you. Isaiah 44 and 22. That's what's happening right here in Isaiah. Chapter 44, we're going to read a little bit of that first verse through wherever we stop at. It says, yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that have made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jerusalem, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessings upon thy offsprings. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water course. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King, Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last, and besides me, there is no God. Amen. Amen. So we already know that he's formed you. Glory to God. Like I told you before, you're not here by mistake. Glory to God. It wasn't that your mom and your daddy made a choice. Glory to God. But God had already redeemed you and chosen you before time started. I want you to know that it was all a part of his plan. So today, we're going to deal with these re's. So right there, we finding out that the Lord has redeemed us. It looks like he just turned his back on us when he turned, when we turn our backs on him. But he doesn't. Instead, he echoes throughout scriptures, return to me. Again, Lord, for the hundredth time, how many have turned your back on him time after time? Glory to God, trying to do your own thing. Want to try to go your own way. Want to try to do what your friends say. Want to try to do what they say and us say and everybody saying something to you. So you're trying to do it their way. You're trying to do it like they say it. Glory to God. And so we find ourselves, glory to God, in situations where we turn from God again. Glory to God. But God says again, return. I think about the prodigal son. 
Remember when he wanted, he wanted his inheritance. Glory to God because he wanted to go do what? His own thing. He wanted to go out and see what this world is about. Young people, listen to me today. Glory to God. I know you're sick and tired of staying in mama's house. You're sick and tired of mama's rules. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? But I stopped by the day to let you know. Huh? Sit. Huh? Don't move until God say. Huh? He says, be still huh? and know huh? that I am God. Huh? He says, I got a plan. Huh? He said, it's a good plan. Huh? And he says, a plan. Huh? to redeem you. Mother boy said, there is a plan of the Lord to redeem you. Not only redeem you, but to deliver you. Do you think God get tired of us coming and going? Of us saying, God, I'm going to do it. Don't you think he get tired? Glory to God. Here I am again, Lord. I messed up, but here I am again, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But he says again and again, glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, return. Return. You find that one re, verb, that one R-E. Verb is in the Bible 400 times. 400 times it's in the Bible. And here are some of the reverbs. Because we got to understand this word. What does re mean? Again. He's going to do it again. How many believe that he's going to do it again? How many believe, glory to God, that no matter how it looks, or no matter what you've been through, glory to God, he said, I did it one time. I'm going to do it again. He said, because I'm the same God. Hallelujah. I delivered Israel. I will deliver you. Hallelujah. Because ha, you are my chosen. Ha, you are the last day saints. Ha, you are the ones ha, that the spirit ha, of God ha, is being poured out on. Ha, and he said, ha, eyes ha, have not seen. They ain't seen nothing yet. Ha, ha. Glory to God. You're hearing a lot of news. And they're talking about this is happening. And that is happening. Like God ain't on the throne. But I stopped by the day to let you know he ain't moved. He's still in the same place doing the same thing that he's always done. Glory to God. And I stopped by the day to let you know he he gonna revive you. He gonna revive you. He's going to revive you. He said, I dwell in the high and holy place and also with him who is of a contrite and lowly spirit to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Isaiah. Glory to God. 57. 15b. And he said, there's that renew. Anybody needs to be renewed. Anybody needs to be renewed. It is says, they that wait uh, for the Lord uh, shall renew uh, their strength. Uh, that's according to Isaiah 40 and 31. Uh, how many know uh, that they need uh, to be renewed? Uh, I want to tell you today, uh, stay right there. Stay right there. Uh, I know you want to move. Uh, I know your flesh is telling you to go. Uh, but God said, uh, stay right there. Uh, there's an appointed time uh, for everything. Uh, you got to stay. Uh, tell your flesh, uh, Sit down, flesh. God has an appointed time. I know it look bad. I know it look like you ain't going to make it. I know you feel like you ain't coming out of that sickness. But I stopped by the day to let you know you're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. 
Thus saith the Lord. You are coming out. He said, if I be for you, and he said that I am, you're coming out. Come on and give him a hand clap of praise. Wait on him. Wait on him. Wait. I say on the Lord. He's going to renew your strength. Come on and give him a hand clap of praise. How many broke down today? You barely making it. You feel like you just can't go. My old knees feel like they want to give out. Glory to God. My eyesight is a little dim. Glory to God. And somebody saying, Pastor, I ain't got no more breath. Glory to God. If you ask me to do one more thing, hallelujah, I'm going to fall out in this flood. But I stopped by the day. Glory to God and let you know he's getting ready to repair and rebuild. In that day, he says, I will restore David's fallen shelter. And he said, I will repair his broken walls and restore his ruins and will rebuild it as it used to be. According to Amos. Not an 11. Glory to God. So you, in, ain't, you are not in a place. Glory to God. That God don't know about. You in a place. As a matter of fact. You in a place. You're right where he wants you to be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you are being led by the spirit. Of an almighty God. If you're being led by the Holy Ghost. If you're being led by the Holy Spirit. If your steps have been ordered by the Lord. You're always where you need to be. When you need to be there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I can testify on last week. I believe it was Tuesday. Glory to God. I had my son at his appointment. He was getting therapy. And my husband called me. He said, I just got a call from one of the brothers. And he said, one of our friend's mother, she was on her last leg. Glory to God. Mind you, I hadn't talked to this sister in a minute. Glory to God. But because we was in the right place at the right time, we got the right call. We was able to go to the hospital. Glory to God. And we was able to go up there and pray for mother. Glory to God. And it looked like, see, God had already given me the dream that morning. Glory to God. And I didn't understand the dream. But when I got to the hospital, I understood the dream. See, the devil, old Slewfoot, that line joker, can't do nothing but lie. He tell us lies all the time. He tell us we ain't going to make it. He tell us that we going down for the last time. But I stopped by the day to let you know he can't do nothing but lie. Glory to God. Don't listen to his lies. Turn a deaf ear and say, what you say, Lord? I hear this clown talking. But what did your word say? Your word says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What did your word say? Greater is he that is within me than he that is within this world. Glory to God. You got to stand on the word. You got to stand in the word. And you got to let the word speak on your behalf. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And say what thus saith the Lord. What did Jesus tell him? It is It's written, it's finished, and it is what? It is so. See, you got to understand. You got to understand. He's a defeated foe. He's defeated. He's defeated. You have the authority. You have 
the authority. You have the authority. So what you got to do is you got to get in your rightful place. You got to get your mind together. Glory to God, according to the word of God. You can't keep saying what he's whispering in your ear. You got to say, get thee behind me, Satan. Glory to God. And you got to put the word on it. I can testify. Glory to God. When he said, my son won't go live past five. But I want to tell you that on June the 6th, if he lives, he'll be 40 years old. I stop by today to let you know what God said. He's going to do it. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> All you got to do <laughs> is believe what he said <laughs> and tell him what he said. <laughs> He said, put me in remembrance uh, of my words. Uh, you got to say, Lord, you say it. Uh, Lord, you say it. Uh, Lord, you say it. Uh, when I pray, uh, if I believe what I pray for, uh, I'm going to have it. Come on and give him a hand clap of praise. And some of us, maybe we need to be replanted. He said, I have built, rebuilt the ruined places and replanted that which was desolate. He says, I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it. According to Ezekiel 36, 36 and B. See, you got to know, I don't care what it looked like. You got to know your God. You got to know what he said. Yeah. Oh, Shata. Hallelujah. He said, if I said it, I'm going to perform it. He said, I am the Lord thy God, and I heal it thee. He said, I was wounded for your transgressions, and the chastisement of your peace was upon me. You need some peace. Look upon him. <laughs> you need some joy. Get your mind on it. <laughs> Astonishing, astonishingly, there appears to be no limit. Somebody said no limit. Take the limits off. Take them off. Take the limits off. Because some of y'all, some of y'all are limiting God to what you see. Some of you are limiting God to what you think you can do. But I dare you to take the limits off. And say no limits. No limits, God. I'm not going to limit you to just I can have uh, this and that or whatever. Whatever, whatever. Don't limit God. Glory to God. Because he's a God of no limits. To what God will willingly and lavishly redo and refresh for those simply willing to return and repent. Some of us ain't going no farther. Some of us are dealing with stuff in our body. Because we won't repent. He said, repent, O Israel, and return to me. Repent, therefore, and turn back that your sins may be blotted out. That times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. And that he may see in the restoration, that he may see in the restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets. According to Acts 3, 19 through 21. And he spoke these things long ago. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Did you hear what I said? It is his good pleasure. Meaning that he wants to do it. He's ready to do it. 
but he's waiting on you. He says, the only one thing you got to do, repent and turn from your wicked ways. See, the land ain't going to get restored until you, his people, his people, which are called by his name. You know, God's got a people. And he's waiting on his people. When his people get in place, when they get to being the one that's sitting back there trying to be an usher, know you're a pastor. The one that's sitting over there on a the deacon board, know you've been called to be an apostle. Oh, my God. One of the reasons the church can't move and come up in power because apostles trying to be. And you know you've been called to be an evangelist. You're trying to be an apostle. And them ones that are apostles, they trying to shut them down and push them back. But I stopped by the day. God said, no, 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 no. Everybody trying to be an apostle. And you ain't been sent nowhere. An apostle is a sent one. They sent with a specific word from God. And when you've been called to be an apostle, get in your place. Get in your place. Get with the right people. And watch God. When everybody get in the place, then we can see all of us. Good God, that body coming together. Look, 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 look. You can't be no prophet. And you ain't called to be one. You cannot. You can't be the pastor. If you ain't called to be the pastor. That might be what you want to be, but what has God called you to? I never wanted to be an apostle. I never wanted to be a pastor. Never wanted to be, I want to stay behind the scenes back there doing uh, helping, works, helping. That's what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? But when God called me, glory to God, he wouldn't let nobody tell me he called me. He told me himself. He told me. How did I hear? I had a relationship. Glory to God. You got to have a relationship with him. And you, you can ask him. And he'll tell you. But you got to be listening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And stop letting people push you back. You know what he's called you to be. Stop letting people push you back. Come forth. Come forth. And if you don't know what to do, glory to God, Lord, I don't know what to do, but I trust you. I'm here to tell you, glory to God, that's where me and my husband was. Glory to God, hallelujah. We was in a place. Glory to God, hallelujah. And we kept going, telling leadership. We knew God had called us out the pastor. Glory to God. And I kept saying, Lord, Lord, Lord. One day, out of nowhere, there was a service going on. And it was the last night of this uh, conference. And I didn't go to church that day. And I said, you know what? I'm about sick of church. I'm about sick of church, folk. Because church folks don't believe. All they want to do is come to church and, 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 and be whatever. Come and judge folk. You know what I'm saying? I was sick of that. But I want you to know, this last Sunday night of this conference, me, my sister, my mother, and my husband, we went to this conference. And you know when you go into a new place, woman of God, you sit in the back. Because you got to see what's going on. I got to see really what's going on. I got to discern this thing. Glory to God. So we sit back there. Let's see y'all don't sit back there. Y'all come on up to the front. I don't go no front. Set us on the front row. And the mother in Zion walked in that place. And honey, I was sitting there like, okay, I don't know who this is, but uh, I'm here. That woman got up. <coughs> God bless her. She's going to be with the Lord. Doctor. Dorothy Board Rush got up and walked to that pole. And when she did, she got that mic. And she looked right at me, and she began to sing, my soul loves Jesus. And when that woman sung that song, I lost it because that was my soul. My soul loves Jesus. 
And I said, Lord, is there any real people in the land? Is anybody really seeking you? Does anybody really want you? Because I see people with this form. I see people with a form of God. But they deny his power. And God's people can't get free. God's people can't get what they need. Glory to God, because too many people play in church. Too many people are out there for their own self. Uh, we got a bad spirit that's running right now, huh? and it's the spirit of self. It's the spirit of self. Everywhere you go, they're taking selfies. Everywhere you see them taking selfies. Everywhere you go, selfies. It's all about self. They ain't thinking about nobody but myself. Look at me, posting all the time, all these pictures of you, because you hung up in you. Glory to God, and you ain't got nothing. And you out there proper lying, giving people false words. Glory to God. And ain't nothing happening. Glory to God. Hallelujah, because it's all about you. Uh, glory to God. Uh, but you got to die to yourself. Uh, glory to God. Uh, if you're going to operate in what God has called you to do, uh, you got to deny yourself. Uh, you got to say it's all about you, Lord. Uh, you got to get out of his way uh, and let him do what he wants to do in your life. You got to set your sights on Things where? Above, not on things on this earth. But we are so busy running around trying to make that dollar. Trying to keep food on the table. Why? He already said he was going to do that. But he won't do it because we won't believe it. So we got to do this earthly stuff. He's going to renew you. He's going to reestablish you. He's going to restore you. All the years, all them years, they tried to shut you down and still trying. But this time, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. You know why it won't work? Because there's a true prophet. There's a true evangelist. There's a true apostle. Glory to God. That understand authority. That understand power. That understand who's got the real power. Glory to God. So I stop by to tell you today, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. Because God said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Glory to God. You can't touch God's anointing. You subjected to die. People think God is a joke. But I stopped by today to let you know he ain't no joke. And every mouth and tongue that rose up in judgment against your ministry, they already condemned. Already condemned. You don't know what to say, what you're supposed to do. But woman of God, it's a word in your belly. There's a word in your belly. And a lot of people don't think it's God. But it is. It is. And in this season, and in this season, you're going to hear more clearly. You're going to hear, and you're going to see, and you're going to say. You're going to hear, you're going to see, and you're going to say. And this time, they won't be able to shut you down. So the Lord is saying, repent. 
and turn back to him. Simon Peter. Y'all remember Peter? Remember Simon Peter? Simon Peter is exhibit A. <laughs> For those who could use a redo. Does anybody need a redo? And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as sweet. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail you. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brother. See, when you get there, you can't just, um, I'm here now. It's about me now. No, you got to strengthen your brother. You might call that Peter and repeat. <laughs> you might call that Pete and repeat. You might call that Pete and repeat. So you blew it again. I blew it again. I talked when I shouldn't have talked. There's some stuff I wasn't supposed to do. I've been rejected again. I've been broken again. I've fallen in that trap again. That debt trap. I fell in it again. I've been foolish again. I been hanging out when I supposed to have been at home being a wife. <laughs> I've been faithless again. God said He was gonna do it. I didn't believe it. And I stopped by today to let you know. I know a Savior. His name is Jesus. And He's willing. To put you back on track. I hear him say, come out from among them. And be ye separated, saith the Lord. You've touched some things you weren't supposed to touch. But God says, come back. Come back to me. He says, I'm waiting. He said, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you. He says, you're not waiting on me. I'm waiting on you. He said, will you come home? He said, when you come home, we're going to throw the biggest party you've ever seen. It won't matter what you've done. Why? Because it's covered. It won't matter what you see. Because it's covered. It won't matter what you're doing right now. If you'll come unto me and repent and, and lay it all at the altar. He said, come as the spirit leads. He said, you know and I know what it is. He said, you might tell other people, you don't know what it is. But God said, you know what it is. He said, you know right where you are. He said, you know you're not where you are supposed to be. He said, but if you come back to me, if you come back to me, glory. He said, if you'll give me all of you, he said, I'll do it again. He said, because some of y'all need the rebirth. Glory to God. <laughs> you trying to do it and you ain't been renewed. <laughs> he said, you got to be born again. Huh? You got to have the rebirth. Huh? You got to be birthed out. Huh? You can't do it on your own. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Your sister can't do it. Huh? You got to come under apostolic anointing huh? for it to be done. Huh? So I start by the day uh, to let you know. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? If you need uh, a renewing, uh, if you need uh, a refreshing, uh, if you need uh, whatever, you can come. 
as the spirit leads. The altar is open. 